Welcome to our tutorial on applying color and transparency. Let's expand the specification tree. Let's apply color to this face. Right click, Properties. Under the Color drop down menu, let's choose Brown. Click OK. As you see, this face below changed color also. The reason is because this is a second instance of the same part. Now let's go to the part body level. We right click, select properties. And this time from the color drop down menu, I'll choose blue. Now let's go to the part level. Right click, properties. Here I'll choose green and OK. As you can see, only this component changed colors. That's because it supersedes our changing of color at the part body level. Now if I go to the sub-assembly level and right-click, select Properties, this time I'll choose purple from the color drop-down menu, click OK. Now the entire sub-assembly is purple. Again, this supersedes the application of color at the part level. At the assembly level, let's change color as well here. Properties. Let's choose light blue, OK. Now the entire assembly is a light blue. If I double click on the part body, you see that we're in the part design workbench, but all of our parts remain light blue, which we applied at the assembly level. But now if I right click, oops, let's actually do this differently. Let's choose edit from the main menu and select our part body object. We'll open a new window. Now you see the colors that we applied at the part body level. Click no. If I do the same at the sub assembly level, let's right click, open a new window. Here are the original colors. We can also remove colors or choose custom colors. Right click, select properties. At the bottom of the color drop down menu, you can select no color. You can also select more colors. In the color dialog window, we can choose to define some custom colors. Here, make your selection from the color grid using the pointer. Or you can enter a numeric value in the fields below. Let's cancel out of this for now. And let's click Close. Let's take a look at how to apply transparency. We'll right click, select Properties. Select the Transparency checkbox and pull the slider all the way to the end. Click OK. Now you see that our parts are transparent. And this concludes our tutorial on applying color and transparency.